Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you a few Windows 10 tips and tricks that might be helpful for your work related activities. I have included timestamps so that you can jump to your favorite part on the video which you really care about. Let's get started. Arrow shake. This feature is to minimize multiple open windows at once. To use, hold the window bar of an open program and shake it left to right. For example, I'm holding this and all other program will immediately minimize at you just saw it right now. To bring them back, shake it again. Cool, right? Emoji. If you want to express your feeling through emojis on any text, Windows 10 provides this feature to do so. To insert emoji, you need to press Windows logo key plus semicolon. Where you will see multiple emojis and you can choose whichever you like. For example, I am selecting these emojis and at the back side on the notepad, these are getting printed. Please do mention your favorite emojis in comment section if you like this video. Calculator app. I know you will laugh and say really calculator app, but it has a lot of advanced features included in it. So to open the app, go to the search and type calculator. And just click on this calculator app icon. The calculator will open in front of you. On the front, it will look simple. But let me show you what new features it has been packed with. First of all, you can set the calculator windows to always stay in top when you click this button. This will always keep the calculator on top even if you select any other window to work on and the calculator app will always be on top. For example, I am opening this Microsoft Edge browser. So the calculator will be always on top even if you open this browser and you can move it from here and there, still the calculator will be on top. This may be helpful for you to work on calculator app with PowerPoint open or a Word doc or any other app open. To remove this calculator from the top view, just click this icon again. So next, click on this navigation app and you will see the list of options. So there you can see the standard, scientific, graphic, programmer, date calculation, and the converters also like currencies, volume, length, etc. There are bunch of different options on which you can work around. For example, let me open this temperature option. So in case if I put uh, some value over there on the Fahrenheit section, let me give 80. So it will convert this Fahrenheit into the Celsius. Night light. When you're sitting at night in front of your computer, your monitor emits a lot of blue light. Now that causes your brain to think it's a daytime and makes more difficult to fall asleep at night. Windows 10 has a feature called night light which reduces the amount of blue light emitting. To go to the night light app, just go to the search bar and type night light and click the best match. So night light settings will open in front of you. You can keep the strength at the maximum level or at the minimum level. Zero level means you will get the maximum of the blue light and at the maximum level your screen will be yellowish and you will get the minimum of the blue light. And you can also schedule night light from the schedule option which is here. Multiple desktops. You can work on multiple desktops on Windows 10. How do we do it? Okay. Open the task view from the taskbar. On the top, you will see an icon for new desktop. Just click it and you can see a new option to desktop 2 will get populated in front of you. Just click on it and you will see a clean desktop in front of you where you can perform your activities. You can switch back to your original window by clicking the task view from the taskbar and just click desktop 1. So you will be back to your main screen. Shortcut to open apps on taskbar quickly. So basically you can launch apps on your desktop by pressing windows logo key and the number that represents the position of the app on the taskbar. For example, in case if you want to open notepad, then press windows logo plus number 5 key. It will open the notepad. Easy right? Let me take another example. If you want to open snipping tool, so just press windows key plus and number 6. So it will open the snipping tool. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and you will get the notification when any new content like this comes out. So that's all I have you for today. I hope you enjoyed and looking forward to see you next time. Take care. Bye.